good day. So, our lesson for today is about formulating the appropriate null and alternative hypothesis on a population mean. So, what is hypothesis? A hypothesis is a tentative statement or explanation of a phenomenon. It is an assertion about a parameter. This means that a hypothesis is a claim or a conjecture or an assumption. So, that is hypothesis. So, we have two types of hypothesis. The null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. So, first, let's talk about the null hypothesis. Okay. So, null hypothesis, uh, the symbol is H0 or read as H0. is a statement that there is no difference between a parameter and a specific value. So, yun yung sinasabi niya. Ibig sabihin, yung, uh, ibig niya sabihin, there is no difference or no change or no relationship exists between the two parameters or between a parameter and a specific value. So, yung symbol ng null hypothesis, if we write this in symbol, usually yung ginagamit nating sign is equal sign. Then, we have the alternative hypothesis or H1. Sa ibang libro, gumagamit sila ng HA. No? HA. So, pwede nyo itong ma-encounter some, someday. So, it is a statement that there exists a difference between a parameter and a specific value. So, if we're going to look at these two hypotheses, no, we can observe that uh, they, are con they contradict each other. So, kinokontradict nila yung uh, dalawa. No? So, kapag sinabi ni Nala hypothesis na no difference, pagdating kay alternative, there exists a difference. Kapag sinabi ni Nala hypothesis na there is no change, pagdating kay alternative is, sasabihin niya na there is a change. Kapag sinabi ni Nala Hypothesis na there is no relationship, pagdating kay alternative, there exists a relationship. So, yun yung dalawang hypothesis. Palagi silang contradicting to each other. Okay. In formulating the Null and Alternative Hypothesis, we examine the claim or conjecture about the population parameter. So, ibig sabihin, titingnan natin kung ano nga ba yung claim or yung conjecture. The following example show how to formulate the null and alternative hypothesis for a given conjecture or claim. Okay, so example 1. So yung claim natin dito is that the average daily confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines is 659 per million population. So ibig sabihin 659 million yan. Okay, so yun yung claim natin. No? Claim pa lang siya. Okay. Or yun yung hypothesis natin, actually hypothesis. So sa hypothesis, we need to understand or we need to know kung itong claim ba to is null, null hypothesis or uh, alternative hypothesis. So titingnan lang natin, no? yung parameter na ginamit niya is average. Tapos uh, yung word na ginamit niya is is, ibig sabihin there is no, uh, no difference. No? 659 yung value. So ibig sabihin, itong uh, claim na to is, Ito, mag-formulate tayo ng null hypothesis. Sasabihin natin, the average daily confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines is 659 million. So, kung titingnan natin, no, yung claim at yung null hypothesis, wala silang pinagkaiba. Kasi nga, yung claim natin is already an hypothesis. Yung gagawin na lang natin is identify whether, or determine, I mean, if the claim is null or alternative. Dahil gumamit ng is, so, null hypothesis siya. So, kinopyan na lang natin. Okay. So, next, in constructing the alternative hypothesis, uh, all we need to do is i-contradict lang natin yung null hypothesis natin. Tandaan natin yung word na ginamit niya dito is is. No? Is. So, kakapi lang natin lahat except dito sa is. Yan yung medyo babaguhin natin. So, yung alternative natin, sasabihin natin, the average daily confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines is not. So, gumamit tayo ng not. Ibig sabihin, there is a difference, no? It's not equal to 659 million. Okay. So, yun yung alternative natin. Alternative hypothesis. Okay? So, kinontradict lang natin yung null hypothesis natin. Okay. So, tingnan natin, no? In writing this uh, hypothesis into symbol, 
sa null hypothesis, HO, gumamit siya ng HO, kasi null. Tapos, average yung ginamit niya na parameter. So, yung symbol ng average, dahil parameter, ibig sabihin, population mean. Yung gagamitin natin. So, ito yung population mean, na symbol. Tapos, yung is, is equivalent to equal sign. Yung value is 659. So, kaya meron tayo nito. No? So, HO, H0, the mean is equal to 659. So, yun yung pagsulot ng into symbols sa null hypothesis. Sa alternative naman, ganun din. First, you need to write the symbol for an alternative, which is H1 or HA. Pwedeng ganun. Tapos, dalawang colon. Huwag kakalimutan. Uh, then, Average, dahil average yung ginamit, so population mean. Is not, yung equivalent ng is not, is not equal symbol. So, ganito yung symbol niya. Kaya meron tayo nito. Tapos, yung value is 659. So, kaya mean is not equal to 659. Okay, so, that is, for example, number 1. Kung mapapansin natin sa example, no? Uh, the equal symbol is used to express the null hypothesis while the not equal symbol is used to express the alternative hypothesis. So, palaging ganun po, no? Kapag equal, yung ginamit natin sa null hypothesis, gagamit tayo ng not equal symbol para sa alternative hypothesis. Okay, so example number 2, no? So, yung claim natin or yung hypothesis natin is that the average number of students per class in the new normal is less than 20. So, yung una mong itatanong, this claim or this hypothesis, ano nga ba siya? Alternative hypothesis or null hypothesis? At bakit? Okay, nilay-nilay natin, no? So, yung parameter na ginamit is average. Ibig sabihin, mu symbol yung gagamitin natin. Next is that, uh, less than. Is less than yung ginamit. Less than, so eto, yung symbol niya, less than 20. Less than 20. So, 20 yung value. So, kung titingnan natin, gumamit siya ng less than. So, ang tanong, null or alternative siya? Ang sagot natin is alternative hypothesis. Bakit? Kasi hindi equal yung ginamit, kundi inequality sign. Kapag inequality sign yung ginamit, uh, mapupunta siya sa alternative. No? Okay. So, Okay, so, yung claim niya, kung mapapansin natin, napunta siya sa alternative hypothesis kasi gumamit siya ng word na less than. No? So, ngayon, all we need to do is to contradict this null hy alternative hypothesis. So, sasabihin natin, uh, H0, the average number of students per class in the new normal education is equal to 20. In symbol, eto siya mean is equal to 20. So, sir, bakit hindi uh, greater than or equal yung ginamit natin instead sa equal? Okay. So, actually, pwede din natin gamitin uh, yung ganitong symbol. No? Sasabihin natin, the average number of students per class in the new normal education is, dito ko na yung sulat, is greater than or equal mali, mali, hindi, hindi siya nakita no? ito natin so sasabihin ko, kukopyahin na lang ito no? so, kayo na lang yung magsulat the average number of students per class in the new normal education is greater than or equal to 20 ok, so kung mapapansin natin, yung less than, kailangan lang natin i-contradict, no? So, kaya gagamit tayo ng greater than or equal to 20. Ibig sabihin, yung null hypothesis can have uh, different uh, answers. Pwedeng equal or pwedeng greater than or equal to 20. Okay. Okay, so let's go to example number 3. So, the hypothesis or the claim is, the average number of hours that the Filipino internet users spend each day during the ECQ is greater than 10.03 hours. Okay, so we have this claim or the hypothesis and we need to determine whether the hypothesis given is null or alternative. So if you're going to uh, look at the sentence, the parameter here is average 
and the symbol used or the word used is greater than and the value is 10.03 okay if you're going to think about it hindi siya equal hindi gumamit ng word na equal or is okay instead gumamit ng greater than and because great we use the greater than phrase so this uh, hypothesis is under alternative hypothesis okay so here as you can observe hinapi lang natin yung claim dito sa alternative hypothesis yung symbol average tapos mu tapos greater than so we use greater than symbol tapos yung value is 10.03 kaya meron tayo nito okay so isulat ko lang dito sa gilid h1 or ha colon mu is greater than 10.03 okay so next dahil meron tayong alternative hypothesis all we need to do is make a contradicting statement about the alternative hypothesis sasabihin lang natin kukopyahin lang natin lahat except dito sa word na greater than so ganito yung magiging sentence natin the average number of hours that a Filipino internet user spend each day during the ACQ is equal to 10.03. So, ito yung symbol niya. Okay? So, ganun lang. Or, pwede din. Pwede din ganito, no? So, the average number of hours that a Filipino internet user spend each day, average, no? Instead na is equal yung gagamitin, gaga, ikaw contradict natin tong uh, sentence na to na greater than so yung contradicting words niya is is less than or equal so ganon so is less than or equal 10.03 so yun yung uh, ibang null hypothesis natin so sa null hypothesis pwedeng eto yung gamitin natin or pwede din eto so parihong tama yung sagot mo no okay Okay, so activity 1 or exercises 1. Number 1, I mean the direction, identify whether the following is a null or an alternative hypothesis. Okay, so identify natin, no? Ulitin ko, kapag is yung ginamit natin or equal sign yung gagawit, gagamitin natin symbol, under yan sa null hypothesis. No? kapag greater than or less than naman or not equal, so mapupunta siya sa alternative hypothesis. So, yun lang yung kailangan natin i-take note. Kapag may equal na word or is, so, doon tayo sa null. Kapag greater than, less than, or not equal, alternative hypothesis na yan. Okay, so let's try number one. The mean height of Filipino woman is 149.6 cm. So, as you can see, is yung ginamit na word or term dito sa specific value so therefore, eto ay example ng null hypothesis number 2 the average daily allowance of grade 11 students is less than 150 so take note, gumamit siya ng word na less than so therefore alternative hypothesis to number 3 the main content of sugar in a bottle of soft drinks is greater than so gumamit ulit ng greater than na word so alternative to alternative hypothesis number 4 the average weekly as consumption of ordinary rice by Filipino families is 8.9 kilograms walang ginamit na greater than walang less than walang not equal so therefore null hypothesis number 5 the average number of hours it takes to travel from Isabel to Manila by bus is less than 12 hours less than yung ginamit so therefore alternative Okay. Okay, activity 2 or exercises 2. Directions. State the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis for each of the following claim. Okay, so state natin, no? So dahil mga claim to, so automatic, uh, nasa alternative or null na to. So all we need to do is copy. So, number one, the average number of years spent by Filipino workers before retiring is 31 years. Ang tanong, null or alternative? Okay, so this is null because of the word is. So, all we need to do is copy this as null. No? H, 0, the average. And all we need to do is uh, make a contradicting statement about this. 
So H1 or HA, you know. So just copy this. So, uh, we will just say the average number of years spent by Filipino workers before retiring. Dito sa ano, yung uh, word na katabi ng value, dun lang tayo magbabago, no? Instead na is, gagamit tayo ng is not 31 years. And that's our alternative hypothesis. Number two, the mean tuition fee in private school is greater than 100,000 annually. So, take note, gumamit ng word na greater than. Therefore, ito ay example ng alternative hypothesis. Okay? So, yung number two is alternative na siya. Ang gagawin na lang natin is gumawa tayo ng null hypothesis. So, madali lang yung paggawa. Kukopyahin lang natin. Ito lang. Kopyahin lang natin to. The mean tuition fee in private school. Pagdating dito, dito tayo magbabago. Pwedeng tanggalin lang natin yung word na greater than. No? Para automatic al null hypothesis na siya. Or pwede din gamamit tayo ng word na is less than or equal 100,000 pesos annually. Okay. So, yun na yung null hypothesis natin. Number three. The average number of hours If it takes a grade 11 student to earn a certain topic in mathematics is less than 45 minutes. Okay, so what types of hypothesis is this? So this is alternative hypothesis. It uses the word less than. No? So this is alternative. So H1. All we need to do is make an make a null hypothesis hypothesis for this. We need to contradict this number 3. So H O H0 I mean. So, we just need to copy all, no? So, kopyahin lang natin to. The average number of hours, blah, blah, text in mathematics. Okay, so, in constructing null hypothesis, we just need to uh, remove the word less than, no? Sasabihin lang natin, is 45 minutes. And that's it. Your answer is correct. Or, you can have different answer like, is greater than or equal is greater than or equal to 45 minutes. Walang. Okay, 45 minutes. Okay, so that's it. Number 4 and number 5, I just leave it for you to answer. So, comment your answer below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell uh, para updated ka sa mga Grade 11 lessons. Thank you for watching.